Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm one of the authors of Technique.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure YUM local repository and um, remote local repository with the HTTPD service in Linux. All right, um, if you want to know more about the repository, you can come to this website to learn more about it. If you want to know what the repository file should contain, if you want to know the parameters in the repository file, like the um, name, the base URL, or uh, like the enabled parameter and all of that, GPG check, you can come to this website to learn that. I'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below, all right? So the main purpose of this video is to show you the step-by-step -step process of how you can configure your local repository and remote uh, and your remote repository in Linux, all right? If you're, so, if you're also going to be writing the RHCSA examination, you can just come to the end of the website and click on the examination practice questions you want to write, RHCSA or LFCS or SUSE Linux, all right? We're going to be updating the website from time to time, all right? Okay, so the first step is to get the ISO into the system. You can use any utility, but I'm using um, the FTP, um, I mean the FileZilla utility um, to get my ISO into the Linux system, all right? So I'm just going to connect. So I can drop the um, ISO in any location I like anywhere I have space so I'm just going to drop my in slash media all right and then you can see that the ISO has been copied into the system now that the copy is complete so I can just check that on my system here is my Linux system so I dropped it in media so you can see the ISO in slash media the next thing to do is to create a mount point for the ISO. All right. So I'm just going to create a mount point here. Okay, I already have this um, directory um, existing. So I'm just going to mount the ISO to this mount point. All right now um, the ISO file is mounted so I can just go to the directory where I mounted the ISO and check the files so we can see that our files are here the ISO files are here so since this system is not registered at all I want to um, create a both a local your local repository and um, the remote repository with the HTTPD service so we're just going to create a um, um a repository file right so i'm just going to call the repository file let me create it create it here i'm going to call this my local repo make sure that it has the um extension the repo all right so i can just do this Oops, sorry. Um, I mean, my local all right. So, if I give this any name, I'm just going to um, give it the same name I give the um, repo configuration file just for um, easy management. So base URL is going to, it's going to be file um, slash mnt slash iso directory. That's where the um, iso packages are, right? So gpg check. I'm just going to disable this and enable post one. So I can give this any name. I can just say my local repository. All right. So let's save the file. 
I'm just going to, going to confirm if my repository is well configured. So you can see that the um, RPMs can be read 5152, and you can see the repo ID. So um, the repository is well configured. So the next thing to do is to install the um, HTTP the package. So I already have the package installed on my system. If the package is not installed on your system, it's going to install the package. All right. So let's just try and install something else just for um, to ascertain this configuration. Oops, I have um, VSFTPD install, installed as well. All right, let me try the links. All right, so um, this is installing e-links. All right, so I have e-links installed. So we do not we do not need that. I just wanted to show you that uh, the local repository is working well. So the next thing to do is to copy the ISO content to the um, document root of um, the HTTP server, which is um, slash var slash www slash html. So it's going to take um, a while. It's about 4.6 gig. So it's done copying. Let's um, verify the content in this location. All right, so we have our ISO directory here. So the next thing to do is to start the HTTPD service. All right, let's verify the status. Okay, so we can see that the um, HTTP service is running. So now we're going to configure our remote, um, our client server to or system to point to this um, HTTP server so that we can be able to download packages. So let's verify the IP of the server. Um, 192.168.170.170. All right. Okay, so this is the client system. On the remote server, the HTTP server, if you have um, firewall running or SC Linux running, you can just disable it or you allow the HTTP service in your firewall rule, all right? So um, on this remote, on this client system, I'm just going to configure the YUM repository file to point to the um, server, all right? Let me just call this remote repo. My base URL is going to be HTTP and the um, IP address of the server. All right, so slash, um, I think it's um, in ISO directory. All right. If um, you have, if your if your name server is working well and um, your FQ, FQ, FQDN is resolving, you can put the FQDN here. And you can also use your host name here if your DNS is working properly. All right. So um, we're just going to leave it like this because I don't have that working on my system. All right, so I'm going to save this file. So let's verify the 
this is working. All right, so you can see that um, the system is working. We can see the um, repo list. We can see the repo ID. We can see the repo name. So I can just install whatever thing I want to install here. Let's say I want to install, for example, VSFTPD. All right, so um, that has been installed. Okay, so this is how you configure your YUM um, local repository and your remote your YUM remote repository in Red Hat 7. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.